most important and relevant table to our time. As you will see, what is the table about? And no doubt that what is going on today in Israel and what happened really yesterday, 21 soldiers were killed. So all of this definitely has meanings. Very likely is what we call labor pants of Messiah. Like the labor pen of a woman, you know, the closest to the verse, more pains. So exactly hoping this what is happening now, that such terrible disaster, so many Israelis were killed, not soldiers. So this is a sign, must be, because we are now according to many of us, time before Messiah, the labor pains of Messiah. Hopefully that will finish with birth and no miscarriage like it's happened in other days. So let us see what is really the table about because it's very significant. Not so many birds, but all of them are very, very significant as you will see yourself either by being minimal, which is one of the conditions of a real Bible code, good meetings, as this program is going to Dr. Rottenberg, who himself became an Orthodox Jew, when he saw from Professor Ips what is the cause. So, it can be a comfort really to those unfortunate families who lost children. As you will see that really it might be a clear proof that we are very close to the Messiah. You know, that some rabbis, like Rabbi Grosbeck said, Rosman says that Passover, this Passover is a time. And the year that we are now, definitely, as we mentioned, brought in few books more than a year years ago, indication to this year, 574, 2024. So all this really have important message. And we have to join really to strengthen our faith in God, to strengthen really all these things because it is a condition for Messiah as a memory these days. Israel will not be redeemed unless they keep the Torah, do repentance. So let us see what is in this table. I will try to explain to you not so many words, but very significant. So the first one that you see here is in black. Once in the Torah, Chevlei Mashiach. So you can see from the top, Chevlei Mashiach. The labor pain of Messiah, as you see here, once in the Torah, unbelievable. Then, looking here, you see, it is interesting that you have here, right on top, and from here, the Messiah, the Mashiach, you are in purple, and then, you have also here the year 784 and 784 Tapshin Pedalet and Amanai, minimum is also the Amanai of Iran, you know, all the time certain Israel to destroy it. Then you have the other leaders, leader of Amanai, which doesn't appear <laughs> often in tables. This is by the way minimal, you see, in the old Torah, which itself is significant. So you have already Amanai minimal, and you have once in the Torah, Rebo Pen Chebre Mashiach. And then next to him, this is Amanai, the Aman of today, you know, the 
Talmud says that if Israel will not do repentance, then he will appoint a very cruel leader on them, threaten to destroy them, to eradicate them. And he's a manai, like Haman in Persia. It's also not coincidence because according to the Kabbalah, Rabbi Zikluria, the letter Mem Nun are letters of strength, shows about strong decrees against Israel. Then you have twice Iran, parallel, also unbelievable. We have Iran, Iran, which is a false city, it's interesting, called Iran, Iran, parallel to Labour Promise and Raisi. Yeah, you have Raisi here, right? Raisi can come with Pialo. Raisi, also parallel, Raisi, Labour Pen, Iran, Iran, and Hamas in green. In fact, because it is Patach, the PLO, and the Hamas, also parallel, unbelievable. All those coming once in the Torah, yeah, once in the Torah, it cannot be coincidence. Then what we have more here, we have Irze Melekat, Aluf Amalek. The champion of Amalek, head of Amalek, no, this is what we have today, all those wild beasts, all those Hamas and so on. Amalekites want to, Amalek to kill, to eradicate, to exterminate the Jewish people. Right, unbelievable. So, we have comfort also here. We have Elijah here, and we have also Messiah definitely here. And we have different conditions keeping the Torah, the Torah and mitzvot, yeah. This is a condition, but we have Hamas and Joseph will come. Joseph is the son of Joseph, Messiah, who prefers the way. Now it is very interesting that you have here a verse about Passover, seven days you should eat masses. On the first day you should remove from your house Leaven bread, and if a man eats leaven bread, he will be cut off. So amazing indication that might be that Messiah redemption will be impossible. So by Grossman says some interesting indications. So this verse comes here. So altogether, as I said, no doubt it is very relevant table as it is one thing the Torah. Hebrew Mashiach. And minimal in the Torah, Hamanai, right? parallel, which is also significant. Iran, Iran, Raisi. Uh, I don't think I found him in tables because the letters Samach and Yud and Aleph are not so this, but here it comes even parallel, clearly indicating to the great troubles that we have now, which are the labors of Messiah. So, as I mentioned, the content of Vilna Goen, I mean, days of Messiah, is like days that the, a woman gets for a birth. But uh, sometimes miscarriage happened, abortion. This is what happened to us, because the most important years that we are in, according to Kabbalah, are 12 years. From 2012 till this year, 2024. So this date, according to Kabbalah, this is the day that even not strong repentance, only keeping Shabbos or other things, can be enough for Messiah to come. Yeah, but I'm afraid it looks that for Jews is difficult in this also to do. Yeah? So the Torah is the most important, keeping the Torah. So as I said, the table is very, very significant. But it is once in the Torah. I mean, if you a few times, you can tell what suits you. But here, and also you have the principles of minimal, I mean, I, yeah, itself, you have the names, Amalek, right, and you have Hamas. So, as I said, hoping really that what we are going through now, 21, it may be the day before 24, we were killed, and this is the verse of this uh, pain, labor pain that we have which might indicate that we are very close to the Messiah. So, as I said, very, very interesting, significant table. And hoping really that we have a Messiah this year, because what is going on, we hope that already in two bishops, 
because the law, if it wakes up till Passover, who knows how many more Israelis will be killed. Even then there will be victory, but so many Israelis up till, up till now, not 500 and so on. So, let us hope that really soon Eliyahu will come with Messiah and bring happiness and joy to Israel and to the whole world. So as I said, we have very much to strengthen our deeds in Torah, keeping Shabbos. Well, Shabbos is a condition for the existence of Israel, you know. Amalekite came to attack just when they dedicated the Shabbos, you know, in the desert. Then they ask question, is God with us or not? Amalek came. Yeah, they were lazy in doing with what? Amalek came. All this the Torah tells us. But Amalek, this is an evil force who all the time doing everything to fight with Jews, to kill them. But we have today the Hamas and all this so clearly came out. So, this is what we see, the hatred of Israel, Patach, Raisi, Aminai, Iran, this is the, the root of all the troubles, yeah. Iran twice appears parallel. Yeah. Very far from being coincidence, yeah, all this appearance. You know. So, hoping that really we do Shiva, now we come to teach uh, to, be, uh, to, uh, to be Shvat. The 15 of Shvat, I gave in YouTube interesting lectures. How much is behind this to be shvat, uh, Kabbalistic, you know? This is really rectifying the root of troubles, which is the tree of knowledge. Then we carry on to Purim, 30 days afterwards. Also eating the feast of Purim. Then we come to the Seder. So now really entering very, very significant time. And hoping it will be used properly, really, I don't know myself. <laughs> I would like so much to sit and learn. Not this YouTube, I know how much people are really impressed by this, but you know what Rebbe said that you have to show it. But I think that <laughs> maybe I now try to stop maybe and to constantly learning, studying, more Talmud, very, very important. You know. So, as I said, you need comfort, you comfort, oh, you know, <laughs> 21 soldiers, 24 really, it's not 24, it's parents and children, brothers and sisters, uncles, oh, terrible tragedy, but what you can do, this is labor pain, <laughs> you know, God told us, yeah, there are labor pains, before the birth of Messiah. This is a practice, one of the most important principles in Judaism. <laughs> There's such a concept of labor pain. So, you can see the book in the beginning is Aleph, is Genesis, but then it goes a little bit also to Exodus. So again, people really <laughs> have patience to look into it and maybe to realize that such a table you will not find in war and peace and in Moby Dick, yeah. Once it's all labor from the uh, parallel, those who are causing the pains, Iran, yeah, Amanai, and also in Raisi, all this. And this is really Preparation for Joseph to come, you know. But all important, the most important is keeping the Torah, you see. Torah and mitzvot. So, let us hope that really the end of our troubles will come soon. And then the Messiah will bring peace, happiness, joy to Israel and to the whole world.